In this video, we're going to look at a sort of pad reduction technique. We all know how pads can sometimes take over mixes altogether so that they are sort of swamping the other ideas that are going on in a track. And I've deliberately written something here where um, exactly that problem is happening. Here's the pad on the top part, and um, it's uh, completely swamping the other elements of the mix. So before we go any further, let's just have a quick listen to that. <laughs> Everything else is kind of fighting for space. Um, what I'm going to do in order to kind of fix this pad is to set up the auto filter over the top of this sound. So rather than relying on the ES2's filters, what I'm going to do is to set up a separate filter routing. I'm going to use a bandpass filter. Now bandpass filters scoop out bass below the kind of frequency and they scoop out treble above it. So in other words, they thin the sounds right out, concentrating on the middle of the sound. And uh, here's the original pad. And there it is with the filter active and you can hear where the sort of sort of dominant bits of the pad are down here towards the bottom um, and you can hear the sort of fizzy aspects up towards the top as well. So by using a bandpass filter I can scoop out some of this busy stuff at the bottom. And suddenly there's loads more room for the piano part, which um, originally was fighting it. Now um, it's actually too loud. There's sort of too much going on in that piano volume. So I've been able to scoop that down a little bit. Now let's latch the cutoff frequency. really nicely. Um, another thing I could try would be to uh, route the LFO section of the auto filter into the cutoff frequency as well by introducing a little bit of this. So again let's get some modulation going in here within the LFO and again I can clock this to uh, two bars and uh, use that as well as this uh, automation that I've drawn already. And if for any reason you're worried that you've actually scooped out too much weight, what you can do is to introduce some dry signal up here in the top right hand corner to bring back in some of the original sound. <laughs> main advantage is using bandpass filters is that unlike low pass filters which will keep in all of the bass frequencies of a pad sound bandpass filters obviously scoop some of those out so if your pads really heavy and is taking over bandpass filters might be the ones to use <laughs> 